Hi, this is Dr. Kat Fleece. This is the last part of our discussion on the simple squamous epithelial tissues. We're going to focus now on the location of simple squamous epithelial tissue in the kidneys. In the outer layer of our kidneys, which we call the cortex, we find all these tiny little circular structures little balls really because they're three-dimensional and we refer to them as Bowman's capsules. These Bowman's capsules literally encapsulate little beds of capillaries and between the two of them they succeed in filtering our blood. When they filter our blood eventually the filtrate becomes urine and this urine will then leave the kidneys via what we refer to as our ureters. These ureters will then merge with our bladder. Any slides of the kidneys pretty much look like the one, like the inset that you see here. And the thing to do is to scan through the slide at a very low magnification and locate the cortex. The cortex will very clearly show all of these little circular structures. And these are your Bowman's capsules with little capillary beds inside. And we're going to focus on these by switching to a higher magnification. With the 10x objective lens, we've begun to focus on this little structure here. This structure consists of the Bowman's capsule which is shown here with the white lumen in it. And inside we find the little capillary bed that the Bowman's capsule hugs. This will make a lot more sense when we take a look at a higher magnification on the next slide. What we're seeing here on this higher magnification is the capillary bed in the very center here. Think of this as being a big wad of tiny little capillaries. A lot of our blood that enters into the kidneys will make it to one of these capillary beds and there are many, many, many of these in our kidneys. Now these capillary beds are hugged or encapsulated by what we call the Bowman's capsule. And really what I'm pointing at right now, this white space, is the lumen of the Bowman's capsule. Anything that has a lumen must also have a wall, clearly. So let me try to point out to you where the wall is of Bowman's capsule. The outer wall is on this side of the lumen. The inner wall is literally pressed up against our capillary bed, like so. And similarly, on this side we have our outer wall here. And then we have the inner wall approximately right here. And so in the white space, in that lumen, that is where the filtered blood, better referred to as the filtrate, accumulates. Eventually that becomes urine, as you'll learn about later. So where do we find our simple squamous epithelial tissue? Well, it is look, it, it actually forms the outer wall of our Bowman's capsule. Look here. Here you find a flattened nucleus and here's another flattened nucleus and here you have several more and I covered some up with uh, the blue marking but that's where you find the simple squamous epithelial tissue in the Bowman's capsules. This wraps up our discussion of the simple squamous epithelial tissues. We looked at mesothelium, endothelium, and the kidney's cortex where we find the Bowman's capsules. Keep in mind that there are additional locations for simple squamous epithelial tissue. The next video will discuss simple cuboidal epithelial tissue. Thanks for watching.